Time. From the moment man first appeared on this earth, his quest for survival has been a race against time. Struggling to come to terms with his ever-changing environment, man was forced to exploit his own intelligence to overcome the obstacles of fear, ignorance, uncertainty, and time. The barricades which blocked the journey to his ultimate goal, total knowledge and mastery of his surroundings. As man's environment became increasingly complex, so did his battle against the onslaught of time. Today, man's race against time has led him down roads that stretch from the outer reaches of space to the inner boundaries of the atom. Now, a fundamentally new scanning microscope puts time on the side of scientists exploring the frontiers of biology, materials, and semiconductor science. For those professionals, the Philips XL series will be a profound improvement. There will be many advantages revealed by the Philips XL series scanning electron microscopes, but perhaps nothing of greater significance than the time you save. While older technologies require you to painstakingly investigate gross areas of a specimen, the XL series lets you quickly identify the best locations on the sample. Previously, you could easily have made over 1,000 control movements on your SEM to get a half dozen high quality micrographs. The XL series can eliminate up to 95% of these movements, tremendously increasing your productivity. And it still allows you, when necessary, to make all the individual fine adjustments that you're accustomed to. Let's see how the Philips XL series can put even more of the potential of scanning electron microscopy to work for you and help you win the battle against time. The first thing you'll notice about the new XL series is its simplicity of design, effectively eliminating over 150 knobs, buttons and controls found on traditional SDMs. The XL series is fully operational via its standard PC type keyboard, mouse and monitor. Operating the XL is equally simple. Just load the sample into the chamber and select the image control by pointing and clicking the mouse. This activates the high tension and automatically saturates the filament automatically focuses the image and automatically sets the contrast and brightness. Now, finding the best locations on the sample is simple. Using the survey mode, you just point to an interesting feature, click the mouse, and that feature is automatically centered on the screen. Magnification is steadily increased until you decide it's satisfactory. While magnification is being increased, you'll notice the image remains in focus, does not rotate, and maintains the preset contrast and brightness settings. Concurrently, Beam spot size is automatically adjusted so you get maximum information in the image. If you find a particular feature interesting, you can save it along with the microscope settings for future reference. Once the feature is saved, the image returns to the survey magnification where you can select another feature. Once a number of feature locations have been saved, you can review them by clicking on the review function. This lets you quickly identify the best areas on the sample and quickly return to those areas for more detailed analysis or to print a hard copy. You can stop the review function at any time if you want to analyze an area in more detail. Let's say you now want to characterize the features on an image. Simply bring up the image analysis package. The features are then automatically selected and characterized according to your parameter definitions. Your analysis is then summarized and can be printed in a variety of formats. The XL series moves scanning electron microscopy into the mainstream of information exchange in your analytical laboratory. It allows you to take measurements and make notes on the image, and as you work, results can be entered into a report using programs like Microsoft Word and WordPerfect. Your images can also be integrated into the report because the TIFF image format is standard. Now that you've seen some of the important advantages of the XL series, let's look at the hardware that makes this all possible. The SEM is controlled by three computers, the Operator Interface Computer, Microscope Control Computer, and the Image Processing Computer. The Operator Interface is a PC running Microsoft Windows. The Microscope Control screens and SEM image are shown on a single heads-up type of display that allows you to work comfortably under standard room lighting. The Microscope is controlled using a standard mouse and a PC type keyboard. By depressing one button on the mouse, the image can be focused. By pointing and clicking the other button on the mouse, control functions can be selected on the screen. On this menu, for example, spot size can be changed. 
And here you can either couple or decouple beam spot size with magnification. The XL series has been carefully designed so you can easily control each of these functions. Magnification, for example, can be changed. One, from the keyboard by pushing the plus or minus keys. Two, from the control menus. Three, by using a slider bar. Or four, by using the power zoom function. So you can individually select and adjust the microscope parameters in the way that best meets your needs. The microscope control computer allows you to precisely align and control the microscope column. This is a radical departure from traditional SEMs where, for example, you typically have to align the final aperture using a mechanical assembly. The XL series eliminates the need for this mechanical assembly by electronically aligning the electron beam with the final aperture. This electronic alignment provides superior levels of precision and stability. The microscope control computer simplifies SEM operation by allowing you to make one adjustment on the image and automatically compensating for any required secondary adjustment needed. So for example, you can focus the image without any image rotation occurring. Here we see where the focal plane has been moved through focus from 8 mm to 16 mm without any image rotation. Another example is the adjustment of high tension and beam spot size. The high tension can be adjusted from 30 kilovolts to 200 volts, and the beam spot size can be adjusted from over 500 nanometers to under 10 nanometers with minimal beam shift. This means you can easily change operating conditions and optimize the beam condition for EDS analysis without worrying about image loss or having to relocate the beam on the proper specimen spot. For example, here we see high tension has been changed from 5 kV to 12 kV to 30 kV with less than one micrometer image shift. Now spot size has been changed in five steps, from 7 nanometers to 100 nanometers with less than one micrometer image shift. Images from the XL series are processed in a high-speed digital image processing computer. This computer precisely maintains the integrity of the geometric and gray level information found in the analog image. Here is an analog image and the corresponding digital image. The digital images can be averaged, integrated, and stored as standard or high-resolution images. The image processing computer has been designed to give you a variety of image processing capabilities. Image display modes, and image storage capabilities. Images can be stored on hard disk, optical disk, or floppy disk. With its modular architecture and software-based operating system, the XL series has been designed so you can easily modify and upgrade the system to meet your needs today and into the future.